All right, we're moving fast this morning. We got a lot to get done. We got to take the Range Rover into the U-Haul store today. We had a customer call and said that they ran out of gas on the side of the road. How do you even run out of gas when you have a giant display monitor blink at you like 30 times? But hey, it's not our problem. We're going to fix it. We got to go pick it up with a truck and trailer from the dealership. Bring it on back to the U-Haul store, fill it up with gas. Maybe probably stop at the gas station on the way back. And then we've got a surprise in today's video. If I can keep it on the road straight here, but... Yeah, we are going to be checking out a insane truck collection. So we don't really do this much often. We don't really check out some cool collections, but there's a guy that gave us access to his entire truck collection, lifted trucks, fast trucks, pretty much every kind of truck you can think of. Raptors, lifted F450s, and a little bit of everything, like I said. So we're going to check that out later today. We get to test drive all the vehicles we want, and we're going to really compare what the difference is in truck brands, you know, Ram, Dodge and a Chevy and a Ford. So we're really going to have a lot of fun today, but let's grab one of the work trucks. We got to bring down one of the heavy duty ones so that we can tow a trailer. Let's grab the GMC Duramax. This should be good enough. And he said he's broke down on Interstate 9. I hope he's still there. Sometimes we have customers leave the truck there and then just not help us get it on the trailer, but we'll be all right if we have to uh, haul it up. We've got a winch on the front of this trailer, so it should be strong enough. It's a 20,000 pound winch. So it definitely be okay, but we got to somehow spin around in this gate. A little difficult with how Alfred placed that trailer, but there we go. I think we'll get it. Back it on in. Goose deck trailer. Wow, this is close. All right, perfect. We're ready to head out here. Let's head on over to Interstate 9. Oh, there we go. We cleared the gate just barely. Where's the dog at? Oh, no. There he is. Good boy, buddy. Eat your food. He ran away from us. All right, stay in the compound, okay? Good dog. All right, let's head out and pick up this truck. We'll bring it on back, and then we'll be on our way for the fun today. I didn't plan on doing much work. We were at the Home Depot store yesterday, if you guys didn't know. We are owners of the Home Depot, so we've been dealing with sheds, and we've been restocking a lot of new equipment. Like we said, we've got big garden sheds. We've been delivering them. They're about five dollars to $10,000 a piece. But uh, all right, Interstate 9 is up here, so I'll meet you guys when we're pulling up to this truck. Uh, hopefully, he's still there. If he's not, he's going to get charged a delivery fee, or it's a pickup fee probably, and then plus he didn't uh, fill it up back with gas, so that's going to be another fee. Oh, I see it up here. Okay, the hazards are on, so he might be in the truck. We'll have to see. Let's pull up in front of it. Oh, you got to be kidding me. The thing's ghosted. There's nobody in the truck. Oh, no. What is going on? We got to keep this thing straight on the road. All right, let's grab the F450. We actually got to back up the trailer a little bit more to get the winch going, and we're just going to hook it up to the front. There's these tow hooks on the front of the F450. We're going to tow this thing on. Right, detach the winch right there. Perfect. Let's strap the truck down. We are good to go. This thing barely fits on the trailer. We'll get the ramps to close just barely, but uh, this is definitely funny. We got a dually truck being towed by a single rear wheel GMC Duramax, but this Duramax has got a lot of power, so we're not going a far distance either. We should be okay. Let's see if we can pull a U-turn here. There we go. Okay, that was a close turn, but we made it. Perfect. All right, we're going to stop at the gas station, fill this thing up, Drop it back off, and then I think we're going to take the Range Rover to check out this truck collection. We don't want to be showing up in an orange rental truck. I just, uh, I don't know. This guy doesn't want us to be driving up in a rental truck, probably. So let's go ahead and pull into the gas station. We'll get this thing filled up. All right, we're good to go. This truck is filled up. It's good for rentals again. And I think we're going to charge this guy a $75 fee because we had to do a pickup. And we also had to fill the thing up with gas again. So it was a very costly mistake that he made, but uh, hey, not my problem. We are just the business operator, so... All right, we're going to get this truck back, and when I'm in the Range Rover, I'll catch you guys, and we'll be heading to the secret truck collection. Well, kind of secret. See you guys in a few. All right, we're back in the Range Rover, and we are heading on over to the truck collection. So he did say that he's got, I think, eight trucks on display, so they're all customized. They all have got a special feature on them. So I'm excited to check this thing out. I think we got to take a ride at the next street right here. It's kind of uh, in the woods area. You don't really see much stuff around it. It's kind of further out in the south, so we're going to head down there. We'll be there in a couple minutes. I'll meet you guys when we're pulling in. Okay, we just got down at the end of this bumpy road. Oh, my gosh, and we arrived, and this is the place. Let's see. Let's take a right here. Yep, nice driveway. Very nice shed, too. This is a giant shed for an eight-truck display, but oh, my gosh, this is cool. I like this. It's very simple. You got nice, clean cut grass, and you got nice cement concrete out in the front. Very nice shop building to store all your trucks, but... We're pulling up in a Range Rover. This thing is sweet too. I mean, check it out. My SVR wide body kit, front splitter guard. If you guys like SUVs like I do, this is a sweet looking SUV. But all right, he said he should be around here. So I think there's a door. If he's not here, he said just check it out. He sometimes is busy, but uh, he said just stop in whenever he wants. So 
We are stopping in. Oh, here we go. It's unlocked. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Look at these trucks. That's a lime green one. That's sweet. I like this white one with the blue underglow. And there's two more trucks in the back. So we've got six overhead doors. Let's actually turn on the lights here. So that we can see. Let's see. Flip the switch. Okay, that's a lot better. Perfect. We can actually open some of the doors. Let some natural sunlight in. But uh, these are some nice trucks. I like this lime green one. The tire size is a little small. These are probably like 30 inch tires. So we can get a little bigger tires on it. It's got a giant lift. Power wagon. So very nice truck. What do we got next? A, a GMC? Yeah, this is, this is a nice truck. I like the white paint color little two-tone action going on and then it's got the american forces i know a lot about these trucks i mean these are uh these are top of the line we've got some gmc's to work trucks but this one obviously is like twice the value it's built up you've got custom paint on it is that a new f-series he's got the new f-series right here f-250 tremor wow that's a nice truck and then whoa this must be his wife's tracked six by six g wagon well it's kind of a four by four because this track is a uh, one track but it's the extended track. This thing is sweet. It's like a tank almost. I mean, it looks like one. You got the forge carbon fiber, Brabus package, extended trunk. This thing is a truck. You know, that's uh, that's kind of what his collection is. It's all trucks. So that counts. And then we also got the Jeep truck. Oh, no. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this one, but it is cool. Nice little red paint here, but I don't know. This is not a truck. There's like no space back here. I mean, you could probably fit a couple of lawn chairs and that's pretty much it there's not much space in the back of the jeep and then you've got the classic f-150 raptor you should get the new one the raptor r that thing is uh 720 horsepower this one's probably a 450 so he should get that but this one's a pretty cool raptor too he's got that front bumper modification a lot of guys do that so it's cool but we can test drive any vehicles he says so i think we're gonna just open up all the doors because no one's gonna steal anything it's in a very very secluded location nobody's out here so all right the first truck we're gonna test drive i don't know i want to test drive the track g wagon i don't know if you guys like this or not but the thing is, is it's got tracks on it. i want to see how it rides and see how the components work on it so check out the tracks oh that's sweet there's like six or seven mini wheels in each track that spins the track. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's pull this thing out without uh, causing any damage. And it is wide, too. It's definitely wider than like a uh, Ford Raptor almost. This thing is sick. Okay, they call it a 6x6, six six, even though it's like on four tracks here. But uh, all right, let's take it for a little spin. We could go off-roading, too. Maybe take it over here in the ditches. Uh, yeah, okay, it's still riding good in the lawn, too. Tall grass. There's a dirt field over here. We're going to drive over here and see how this thing does. Seems to spin up some dirt, and uh, I don't know. It's, it's definitely driving decently. The suspension's decent on it. You got dual shock suspension on the rear and then also the front. That's sweet. I would spin it up. Oh, wow. Okay. You can see it starts to gain traction, but look at this. Oh, my gosh. We're doing like a perfect 360. This is pretty cool. Let's see what it looks like in the cab. Yeah, this is definitely sweet. You got the computers in the back. Look at that. Computers, and we're still doing 360s. Okay. Definitely cool. Let's head on back to the shop. We're going to test drive just about every truck, see the differences, but this is definitely a little bit of a switch up of vehicles. We've never really drive tracked ones, but definitely, definitely a good driving car. Let me know what you guys think about this track G-Wagon down below in the comments if you like it or you hate it. It's either one of the two. There's no middle ground on this thing, but all right, let's go ahead. We're going to park it there. We'll fix everything when we leave, but right, we're not taking the Jeep. We're not going to take the Raptor. We're going to take this Z71 Chevrolet. Now, this thing is a, a very high horsepower truck. The Z71 package, I think you're pushing 650 horsepower with a tuner on it. Look at that. So, a tuner is almost like a modification. Well, it is a modification that makes the engine faster or the truck faster. Look, we are flying. Don't hit the tree. That was close. Okay. He's got a cool paint color package on this thing, too. Looks like the cab is all blacked out. And then you got the tint, chrome rims. And we just jumped a $150,000 truck and landed it. Oh, that's sweet. It's a good riding truck. This thing's quick, too. Ready? Here we go. Hit the jump. Oh, my gosh. Landed it. Check it out. All right. Well, it's good riding. We're getting a little crazy here. Obviously, these things are indestructible. Let's pull this one back in the shed. We're going to take the GMC for a spin. Not the blue one. The white one with the giant mud tires. Uh, all right. Let's back in this. The doors open automatically, which is pretty cool. And they also close on their own, which is annoying at the same time but uh, all right we're gonna take this gmc with the massive tires on it but this thing is sweet nice interior the denali package very cool gmc sierra all right it's riding good and it's rolling cold that's always a cool sign when you got a lifted truck rolling cold baby this is uh probably like one of the best trucks collections out there and the only reason i say that is because it's very unique there's a little bit of everything and that's sometimes what you need with trucks if you just have a bunch of gmc's it gets boring but this guy keeps it simple, and he also has, like, one of each truck. He's got a Ford, a GMC, a Chevy, 
Ram, everything. And obviously a G-Wagon for his wife. But, all right, this truck rides decent. Uh, it's okay on the turns. I personally wouldn't put these tires on it. These are 40-inch tires. They're mud swappers. I, I just don't know. If Unless you're going mudding, it's really uh, not worth it. So, all right, let's pull this one back in the garage. It's, it's definitely nice. I do like it. A little bit of a quick drive. And he said actually one more thing. We can pick any truck that we want out of this collection to take home for ourselves. He must be a billionaire because that's pretty crazy. So, all right, let's narrow it down. These three, not taking. I do not like those trucks, even if the G-Wagon's half a million dollars. Don't like it. Chevy, out of the game. So we're down to the power wagon, the GMC over here, or this brand new Ford. I haven't drove this Ford, but he did say the interior is nice. Oh, look at the touch screen. Okay, this is nice. This is nice. Let's see what the power wagon interior looks like. I like the lime green paint. Ooh, this is nice too. I like that screen. Digital display. Very, very nice. Racing seats. And this truck is uh, pretty expensive too. Unfortunately, I don't like Rams. So we're going to go with the Ford, boys. That's right. This is our new truck. He said we could take anyone. And I want to be nice. We're not going to steal his custom white GMC over there because that thing's probably pretty nice to him. He, he's like a built that thing from scratch on his own. So I, I don't want to take it out of him. But uh, this this is definitely a nice Ford truck. Good work truck too. This would be like a truck we keep at our house and drive it back and forth from work. So we don't have to uh, use the Range Rover. But all right, we got a new truck. I, it's all blacked out too. If you couldn't tell, I like all blacked out vehicles. This thing looks sweet riding in style so guys i hope you enjoyed checking out this truck collection if you did and you want to see us come back for more hit the thumbs up button and subscribe thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one